All right, welcome to Pilates. So glad you guys are all here. Go ahead and lie down on your mats with your knees bent and your feet flat. Rest your arms down at your sides and start out by taking a deep breath in through the nose, expanding your belly below the rib cage. Exhale fully as you melt your body down into the earth. And again, deep breath in and exhale. Find symmetry in your joints. Your shoulders are in one line. Hips, knees, and feet are all lined on the mat. Lengthen the back of your neck, creating a slight chin tuck, and glide your shoulder blades down the back away from the ears. As you continue to breathe, add in pelvic tilt. Exhale, tuck the tailbone under, pressing your lower back down into the mat. Inhale, rock pelvis forward, creating space. Exhale again as you tuck and imprint lumbar vertebrae up into the thoracic and inhale as you rock the pelvis forward, creating a little bit of space. And continue moving your body forward and back, your pelvis forward and back. Connecting with your breath. And start to think of an intention that you would like to set for your practice today. That intention can be one word or a phrase. It can be a visualization of something, a goal or an intention that you would like to manifest. Last two pelvic tilts coupled with your breath. Exhale, imprint, lower back fully down into the mat. Release that position slightly as you continue your breath and engage your core abdominals as firmly as you can. You can poke your lower abdominals, feel it contract as you cough, huff, clear the throat, and you'll feel your abs fire. Now engage your core quietly without making noise, but keeping that transversus abdominis deep core muscle fully on. Now, as you're bracing through the core, Arms are down at your sides. Begin to march in place, lifting your right knee up above your hip, 90 degree angle and switch. Left knee up above your hip, lower and switch. Continue alternating, marching in place. Breathing through your core, breathing in and breathing out. Keep the collarbones open wide, shoulder blades down the back. Transition marching into hip release. With your feet flat on the ground, open your right knee out to the right side a few inches. Exhale, bring it right back into the midline. Inhale, open left knee out to the left side. Exhale, bring it right back into the midline. As you're moving your knees and hips out and in, keep the pelvis anchored to the mat with an imaginary seat belt. Complete your last two repetitions. Inhale, open, and exhale, center. Inhale, open, exhale, center. Hug both knees into the chest. Rock your knees up and down and side to side. Take a deep breath in and a full breath out. Release your knees into a tabletop position. Hips, knees, 90 degrees, palms resting down at your sides. As an option, you can tuck your hands under the tailbone to create sort of a little wedge. So you're going to Lift your butt up just for a second so you can tuck your hands under the tailbone and then rest your bottom fully down so your back is flat. Your legs are lifted in the air so I can rest a tray of food right on top of your shin and then begin to tap one foot down to the mat, lift and switch. Tap down to the mat, lift and switch. Continue alternating single toe taps. Keep the lower back, middle back flat on the mat. Belly is in and up. Three, two, one. And then rest your feet down, arms out into a T. Rock your knees to the right, turn your head to the left. Take a deep breath into the side waist. Exhale, move in the opposite direction. Knees go to the left, head turns to the right. Breathe into the rib cage and the side waist and switch. Do a few more repetitions, rocking knees side to side, back and forth. 
breathing in and breathing out. Lift knees back up above your chest in a tabletop position. Hips, knees 90 degrees, arms reaching down at your sides or tuck the tailbone, hands under the tailbone. Make a double chin tuck, lift your head a millimeter above the surface. Feeling the weight of your head against gravity. Just one millimeter, hover and hold. Two, three, four, five, and rest. Relax, release, hug your knees into the chest, stretch lower back, middle back, rock knees up, down, and side to side. Okay, knees above chest, arms resting down at your sides, reach long through the fingertips. Double chin tuck, lift your head and shoulder blades up off the mat. Eyes are on your belly button. Begin to pump your arms up and down vigorously like you're splashing water. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. You can progress your leg position by raising your legs straight up to the sky. Connect your heels together with your toes apart in Pilates stance. Your feet will look like a V. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Keep tucking the tailbone under. Drawing your belly button towards the spine. If you're ready, you can lower your legs down five to 10 inches, taking your legs to your challenge point. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Do one more set. Breathing in through the nose, out through the nose or mouth. Beautiful alignment. Hug your knees back into your chest. Stretch, relax, and release. Take a deep breath in and a full breath out. Massage the spine, deep breath in, and a full breath out. Hug your right knee into the chest, elbows wide. Kick your left leg out long at a high diagonal. Lift your head and shoulders off the mat, eyes on belly, and switch. Pull left leg, kick right leg out, and switch. Pull, switch, pull, switch. Pull, switch, pull, switch. Breathe in, switch, breathe out, switch. Keep alternating the single leg kick. As you breathe in through the nose, out through the nose, or mouth. Powerhouse strong, inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale for four, three, two, and one, and rest. Relax, release, deep breath in, full breath out. Double leg stretch, hug both knees into the chest, tight like a ball. Hands to the front of the knees, shins, or the fronts of the ankles, whatever is available. Lift your head and shoulders off of the mat with your eyes on your belly. Elbows wide. Inhale, reach arms like straight up to the sky like a dead bug. Sweep your arms only out wide around and hug your knees back in. Inhale, stretch arms, legs up. Exhale, sweep around and hug it in. Arms, legs, stretch up, sweep around and hug it in tight. Keep moving, breathing, lengthening and elongating through the spine. Reach, long, exhale, pull, strong. Keep tucking the tailbone, flattening your lower back against the mat the whole time. Don't drop your head back unless you're intentionally resting it. Keep your head lifted and your shoulder blades off of the mat two to five inches. Four more, make them your best ones. De-shrug your shoulders down the back every time you reach. Exhale, pull it in. Last two, inhale, stretch. Exhale, sweep and pull. Last one. Rest, take your favorite stretch, double knees to chest. Windshield wiper legs, or just Shavasana. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Exhale, audibly sigh out the mouth. Legs up, way up. Climb your hands up the right leg to the calf or the ankle. Drop your left leg down five to 10 inches. Lift your head and shoulders off the mat. Eyes on belly, elbows wide. D shrug your shoulders down the back. Give that right leg two pulls and switch. Left leg, pull, pull and switch. Pull, pull, switch, pull, pull, switch. Scissor your legs, up, down, and breathe. Pull, pull, switch, pull, pull, switch. Inhale and exhale. Keep moving and breathing and lengthening, elongating through the spine, from your head to your toes. Pull, pull, switch, pull, pull, switch. Last two, last one, and rest. Relax, windshield wiper legs is a good one. Rock your knees over to the right. And then rock over to the left. Deep breath in, fill your lungs. Exhale, audibly sigh out. Double leg, lower lift. Fold your hands behind the head, elbows wide. An option is also to tuck your hands under the tailbone if you need assistance to keep the back flat. Lift your knees above your chest in a tabletop position. Hips, knees are at 90 degrees to start. 
and then raise your legs all the way up to the sky, connecting your heels together and toes apart. If you lose that 90 degree angle, simply bend your knees. Your hamstrings might be a little tight, that's okay. Curl up way up, eyes on belly, elbows wide. Flex your feet, toes to shins. Lower your legs down through molasses and pause. Point toes, lift your legs right back up to the sky and pause. Flex lower down through molasses. Point toes, lift up, way up. Use zero momentum. Move through thick molasses. Pause at each and every top and bottom. As you raise your legs up to the top, pause for a second. Flex your feet lower down five to 20 inches. Pause for a second. Feel your powerhouse burning. Breathe into it. Tuck the chin gently like you have a little egg under the chin. Eyes are on the prize. Last two, make them your best ones. Feel the burn in your powerhouse. Beautiful work. Relax, release. Take your favorite stretch. Inhale deeply, exhale fully. Crisscross, last one of the abdominal series. Fold your hands behind your head, elbows wide. Lift your knees above your chest in a tabletop position. Hips, knees, 90 degrees. Curl up, way up, eyes on belly. Twist your upper torso to the right. Straighten your left leg long, center, and twist left. Straighten right leg long and center. Twist and center, twist and center. Exhale, center, inhale, center. Look behind your elbow every time you turn. Keep that pelvis anchored to the mat with an imaginary seat belt. Keep breathing, exhaling and inhaling. Beautiful form, feel the burn in your obliques. Last two, make them your best ones. Gorgeous form, everyone. Rest, relax, release, deep breath in and a full breath out. Excellent job, let's flip over onto all fours. Align your hands under your shoulders, knees under your hips. Readjust your camera if necessary so I can get a side view. Once you're on your hands and knees, just begin to rock your body back and forth. Get used to or acclimate to being in this position. So you're just gonna rock your body back and forth. You're now in closed kinetic chain for the upper body. You wanna judge and observe how your wrists and your fingertips are feeling today. Some of you might prefer to use yoga blocks under the hands. You could also balance on your knuckles. You could also drop down onto your forearms. Whatever you do, listen to your body at all times. And then open your knees a little bit wider as you begin to sweep your hips around into a circle. Clockwise, five times. You are here right now being present and honoring your mind your body and your spirit. Switch, reverse, massage the spine, the side waist. Breathe into that rib cage, those intercostals. Let's transition when ready to cat cow. Exhale, scoop the belly round your spine, tucking tailbone all the way to the chin. Inhale, lift your tailbone up, allow the rest of your spinal column to follow. Continue moving segment by segment, bone by bone. Cat cow, open the collarbones. Lengthen through the front of the throat and the chest. D shrug your shoulders down the back away from the ears and spin the biceps forward, creating an arm spiral. So you wanna straighten your elbows as much as you can without hyperextension. Last two repetitions, beautiful movement. Melt your hips down to the heels, chest to your thighs, forehead to the mat, hands can go under, the forehead for support, or you can reach long forward through the fingertips. You can reach long behind you, allowing your shoulders to drape. Take a deep breath into the back body. And exhale fully, expanding and fully releasing. Rise up all fours, hands under shoulders, knees under hips. One cat, one cow, so that you can find neutral spine, that middle point between both extremes of cat and cow. Imagine you are balancing a cup of espresso on the back of your neck, hot coffee on the lower back, hot cup of tea right in between your shoulder blades. Fire up your abdominals, D shrug your shoulders down the back, spin those biceps forward, and then tuck your toes towards the shins. 
Maintain that straight spine. Toes are tucked forward. Lift your knees up off of the ground. Head stays elevated to the height of your shoulder blades. That's it. With a double chin tuck. So you have a little pencil or a little egg under the chin. Feel the heat building into your shoulder girdle, into your quads, and then rest, relax, release. Sit back into child's pose or a tall kneel. Shake out the wrists, circle them around. Take whatever you need. Eyes up all fours, neutral spine, head to tailbone. Balance that espresso on the back of your neck. So the first thing that wants to go is the head drops down. Keep it elevated to the height of your shoulder blades. Tuck the toes forward, lift your knees. One inch, hover above the mat, hold it here for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest, relax, release. One breath in as you release the wrists and the spine. Exhale fully. Rise up, all fours, neutral spine, head to tailbone. Tuck toes forward, lift your knees up, hover here, hold. If you start to feel it in your lower back, simply tuck your tailbone under more. Firing up transversus abdominis, begin now to glide. Hips back towards your heels. Glide forward past your knees. Keep your knees only an inch above the mat. Rest your body into child's pose. Incorporate a lateral child's pose. Sit back, way back, walk your hands to the right. Shift your bum to the left and open up that side waist. Exhale, walk hands over to the left. Shift your hips over to the right. Lengthen and open that side waist. Come back to the center line, rise up again, all fours, please. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Exhale, scoop the belly, round your spine, tuck chin and tailbone under. Inhale, lift head and tailbone up to the sky into cow stretch. Do it again, exhale, round it out, scoop the belly, tuck chin and tailbone under. Inhale, lift head and tailbone up, way up. D shrug, last one, exhale, round it out, scoop into cat. Inhale, lift up, way up into cow. Exhale, find neutral spine, middle point between both extremes. Tuck the toes forward, lift your knees up and hover above the mat. Begin to glide back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and press your hips up to the sky all the way up and pedal your heels out one at a time. Walk the dog, let your head hang, loosen up those cobwebs and now begin to do tendon stretch. Lift your heels up as high as you can on your tippy toes and press your heels down as low as you can. Do it again, inhale, lift up tippy toes. Exhale, press the heels down. Last one, lift up tendon stretch and exhale, lower back down. Melt your knees down to the earth, chest to thighs, forehead to mat. Relax those wrists and breathe. Beautiful work. Exhale, rise up onto all fours, but this time drop down onto your forearms. Elbows are wide, clasp one hand with the opposite. And then do one count, one count. Find neutral spine. Engage your core powerhouse. Kick your right leg straight back, press toes down into the earth. Kick your left leg straight back, and here you are in low plank pose. Low plank, neutral spine, head to tailbone. De-shrug your shoulders down the back. Start to rock your body forward and back, forward and back. If you need to modify at any time, simply drop your knees down to the earth. You can do a half plank. Keep breathing three more breaths in low plank or modified plank. Beautiful job, rest down onto the belly. If you have a sensitive spine, I definitely recommend using a pillow or a blanket fold, a yoga blanket, a, a thin bolster underneath of your abdomen if you need it. Otherwise, if you're used to doing prone exercises without props, then just lie flat on your belly. With your hands under your forehead, begin pelvic tilt. Tuck the tailbone under, pressing the pubic bone down towards the mat, and then reverse the motion by gently lifting the tailbone up to the sky. Exhale, tuck under, engaging core abdominals and multifidi, and then reverse, lifting tailbone gently, creating an arch in the spine. And recognize, notice, and observe how the body feels as you do pelvic tilt. 
Last two. Now tuck and hold. Engage your core abdominals, your transversus abdominis, which will fire up the multifidi deeply situated in your lower back, middle back. Also draw the muscles of the pelvic floor up, a light Kegel, as you breathe through the nose, out the nose. So you are getting your entire trunk cylinder engaged. This will protect your spine as you run through this extension series. Bend your right knee, bring your heel towards your buttock, feel a little contraction in the hamstring, and then switch. Bend your left knee, feeling a little stretch in the quadricep, and switch. Keep the thighs on the mat the whole time. Just do a hamstring curl alternating. The goal here is to minimize any movement in the spine or pelvis. So you want to continuously press pubic bone down towards the earth, bracing your abdominals and lower back pelvic floor as you breathe. T-A-T-D breath, power breath, transversus abdominis, thoracoassisted assisted diaphragmatic breath. Straighten both legs long, press your toes down into the mat so your kneecaps pop up. This is called terminal knee extension or double knee lock. Relax, release and then do it again. Tuck brace, lock knees, lift those kneecaps up off the mat, and then lower them back down. One more, tuck brace, lock knees, let them lift up. Hold it here with toes pointed or flex your choice. Lift your right leg up off of the mat one to five inches and switch. Left leg up one to five inches, lower and switch. Keep alternating single leg lift. Bracing through the core, out, breathing in through the nose, out through the nose or mouth. Try to maintain that terminal knee extension. Your knee stays straight. Think length more than height. Soften the shoulder blades down the back for four and three. Last two. Last one. Rest, relax, release. You can either be still or you can wiggle your hips side to side, loosening up those muscles. Straighten your legs out long on the mat. Zip up your heels together in Pilates stance. Slide your hands under your shoulders. Elbows are bent like grasshopper wings. Engage core powerhouse. D shrug shoulders down the back. Press your chest up one to five inches into a mini cobra, mini swan, or a full cobra, full swan. Hold it here. Wrap those shoulder blades down around the back. And then exhale as you lower your body back down with control and grace. Do it again five times. Inhale, press up as you de-shrug, engaging your core powerhouse. Exhale as you lower your body back down through molasses. Inhale, press up, de-shrug. And exhale as you lower back down. Do three more at your own pace. Do what feels good to your spine. Avoid any pinching sensation or discomfort. Keep your abdominals firing on. Turn your head to the right, drape your arms down at your sides. Relax here and breathe into your neck. One more deep breath in, fill the back body, fill the lungs and the rib cage. Exhale, melt your body down into the earth. Draw your head back to the middle. Turn your palms facing inward towards your hips. Forehead is down onto the mat. D shrug shoulders, tuck chin, tuck tailbone. Lift your chest up like you're flying like a locust. Lift your arms up with your arms reaching above the hips and holding an imaginary beach ball. And then from there, pump your arms towards each other. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Keep moving, keep breathing. Lift your chest up, way up. Maintain that double chin tuck. Elongate through the crown of your head. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Rest, relax, turn your head to the left. Drape your arms down at your sides. Take a deep breath in and a full breath out. Bring your head back into the midline. Bend your elbows at 90 degrees. This is called cactus arms or goddess arms. Elbows, shoulders are at 90 degrees, resting flat on the floor. Glide your shoulder blades down the back away from the ears. So your arms are totally resting on the floor, including the upper arm. Yes? Okay. D shrug, tuck chin, tuck tailbone. Lift your chest up. Squeeze your shoulder blades together as you lift your arms up. And then reach forward like you're grabbing an imaginary lat bar. Pull that bar straight down behind your back, squeezing the base of your shoulder blades together. 
Inhale, reach up, reach for that bar, and exhale, pull them down. Keep your chest lifted the whole time. You are gliding your arms forward above the head and then pulling that imaginary bar down, squeezing the base of your shoulder blades. Keep moving and breathing as you strengthen your upper traps, middle traps, lower traps, your latissimus dorsi, your entire spinal column. Tuck the tailbone, brace your core, lift your chest up just a little bit higher. Two more reps. Beautiful work. Rest, relax, release. Bend your knees, rock your feet side to side, back and forth. Loosen up the spine. Reach your arms up over the head, creating a Y shape or a V shape. So arms are reaching forward, legs are long behind you. Tuck the tailbone, tuck the chin, lift your chest up two to five inches off of the ground. D shrug one last time. Raise your right arm and left leg only two to five inches and switch. Left arm, right leg only two to five inches and switch. Lift and switch. Keep breathing in, breathing out as you alternate swim prep. Continue tucking the tailbone under, bracing your core and breathing. Try not to bend your knees whatsoever. Think length more than height. And if your back is happy with it, lift both arms, both legs fully up and flutter kick quickly. As you inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. If this does not feel great, continue. Swim breath. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Rest. Relax, release. Place your left hand under your forearm. Reach your right arm behind you. Clasp onto your foot or ankle and begin to stretch your quadricep. You can draw your heel towards your buttock first and curl the tailbone under. You're gonna feel that stretch, tremendous stretching sensation in the left quadricep and the hip flexor in your hip crease. Deep breath in. As you exhale, deepen that stretch. Maybe you can lift that thigh up off of the mat a millimeter or two. Kicking your foot into your hand for five, four, three, Two, deepen the stretch, drawing your heel closer towards your buttock and lifting your thigh a little bit higher up off of the mat. Release with control and grace and switch. Curl the tailbone under, draw your knees together close to the midline. So you don't want your knees splayed way out to abduction. You wanna to try to keep your knees close together. No pinching sensations allowed ever. So if you feel a pinch in your hip or knee, back off. Curl the tailbone under. Start to kick the foot into the hand for five, four, three, two. Deepen your stretch now. Inhale deeply, exhale fully. And then release. Sit back into child's pose. Gently, gingerly push back. Hips to heels, chest to thighs, forehead to mat. Just giving your spine some flexion after doing that entire extension series. Deep breath in, full breath out. Side kick series, lie down on your right side. Align your whole body to the back edge of the mat. Feet come to the front corner of the mat. Glide your shoulder blades down the back, away from the ears. Stack your hips right on top of each other. Tuck the tailbone under, flattening your lower back up against an imaginary wall, and then arch your lower back, creating space behind your lower back. Do that again. Tuck, flattening your lower back. Arch, creating space. Tuck fully, release slightly to find neutral spine. Poke your abs for a second. See that they're fully engaged. Keep them on, and then point the toes. If you're lying on your right side, kick your left leg straight up to the sky. Flex your foot lower down through molasses. Point, kick up, flex and lower. Point, kick up, flex and lower. Inhale, kick, exhale, lower. Inhale, kick, exhale, lower. Point, kick up, flex and lower. Point, kick up, flex and lower. Inhale, kick, exhale, lower. Last two, kick up, flex and lower. Last one, kick up, exhale. Hover your leg above the bottom leg, parallel. Flex your foot, toes to shin, and kick forward, forward towards your nose. Point your toes and sweep back ever so slightly behind the bottom leg. Don't lose neutral spine. Center, flex, kick, kick. Point, sweep back, center. Flex, kick, kick. Point, sweep back, 
Center, inhale, kick, exhale, back. Center, flex, kick, kick. Point, sweep, back. Center, flex, kick, kick. Point, sweep, back. Center, last one, kick, kick. Point, sweep, back. Center and rest, relax your leg, massage your left hip, loosen up any of that lactic acid buildup. Look for trigger points. In the glute medius, glute minimus, piriformis, vastus lateralis, anywhere on that outer hip. Give it some love, breathe into it. Circles. Heels together, toes apart, in Pilates stance. Lengthen and elongate that leg out of the hip socket. Now begin to trace an imaginary soccer ball. Sweep that leg around for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Reverse for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Side pass A. Point the toes, slide them along the bottom leg, kick straight up to the sky, flex your foot lower down through molasses. Point slide, kick it up, flex foot lower down. Point slide, kick it up, flex foot lower down. Last two, kick it up, exhale lower. Last one, kick up, exhale reverse. Kick straight up and then point slide. Inhale, kick, exhale slide. Flex kick up, then point slide. Flex kick up, then point slide. Last one, kick up, then point rest. Relax, release, massage your hip. Full breath in, full breath out. Inner thigh lifts, knee to the ceiling, foot flat to the mat. You can place your foot in front of the body or behind it. Just get it out of the way so that that bottom inner thigh has freedom to move. Okay, ready to go. Flex your bottom foot, brace your core, lift your bottom leg up, higher, highest, and lower. Lift, two, three, and lower. Lift, two, three, lower. Lift, two, three, lower. Inhale and lower, exhale and lower. Lift, two, three, lower. Lift, two, Three, lower, lift, two, three, lower, last two, two, three, lower, and one, two, three, and circles, bigger than a soccer ball, 10, nine, keep the knee straight, eight, seven, belly in and up, six, five, four, three, two, one, reverse for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest, relax, release, top leg on top of the bottom leg, stack them, and then move your legs to the back edge of the mat so you're completely in line with the body. Tuck the tailbone, brace your core, press your hand down into the mat for leverage as you lift both legs up as high as you can. And like an alligator drop jaw, drop the bottom leg only to the floor and lift it up high, lower down and lift, lower 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 lift and hold it there. Drop both legs down and then hike both of them up as high as you can. Inhale, lower, exhale, use that side QL, your side waist to hike the hips up. Lower and lift it up high, one more, lower, lift it up and hold. Roll over onto your belly, tuck your hands under your forehead for the transition, it's called beats on the belly. Hands under forehead, shoulder blades down the back, zip up your legs together, heels together, toes apart in Pilates stance. Tuck, brace, lift your legs up and click those heels. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, hold, do it again. So you're gonna open and close your legs quickly. Begin, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, hold. And then roll over onto your other side, but just transition to the opposite end of the mat. All right, align your whole body to the back edge of the mat. Feet go to the front corner of the mat. Swim the pelvis forward, back, forward, back, finding neutral spine. Do you shrug your shoulders down the back, away from the ears, and then begin to kick your legs straight up to the sky. Flex foot lower down, point kick up, flex and lower, point kick up, flex and lower. Inhale, kick, exhale, lower, inhale, kick, exhale, lower, point kick up, flex and lower, point kick up, flex and lower, inhale, kick, Exhale, lower, inhale, kick, exhale, lower, last two, kick up, exhale, lower, last one, kick up, 
Exhale, raise your top leg up a few inches, flex your foot, toes to shin, and kick it forward towards your nose. Feel that hamstring stretch. Point toes kick ever so slightly behind the bottom leg. Don't lose your neutral spine as you kick front and back. Move that leg through full range of motion without compromising your spine alignment. Abdominals, pelvic floor, lower back, and breath are all engaged. Last one, flex, kick, kick. Point, sweep back, center, and rest. Now, relax, release your hip, massage it. Look for trigger points. Breathe life into that. Draw in a deep breath in, and exhale. Heels together, toes apart, bellies in and up. Begin to circle that top leg around for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Reverse for 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, side passe, point the toes, slide them along the bottom leg, kick straight up to the sky, flex your foot lower down through molasses, point slide, kick it up, flex foot lower down, point slide, kick up, flex and lower, point slide, kick up, flex and lower, last two, kick up, exhale, lower, last one, kick up, Exhale, reverse. Kick straight up to the sky, bend and slide. Kick straight up, bend the knee, point slide. Kick straight up, bend, point slide. Inhale, kick, exhale, slide. Last two, kick up, exhale, slide. Last one, kick up, exhale, rest. Massage the hip, look for trigger points. Breathe into the hip joint. Breathe into your entire body. Inner thigh lifts, knee to the ceiling, foot flat to the mat in front or behind the bottom leg, just get it out of the way. Bottom leg is straight, toes to shin, straighten that knee, brace and lift. Two, three, and lower, lift, higher, highest, lower. Lift, two, three, lower, lift, two, three, lower. Inhale and lower, exhale and lower, lift, two, three, lower, lift, two, three, lower, last two, two, three, lower, last one, two, Three, and circles, bigger than a soccer ball. 10, nine, straight knee, eight, seven, belly in and up, six, five, D shrug, four, three, keep breathing, two, and one, reverse for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest, relax, release. Top leg on top of the bottom leg. Scoot your legs to the front corner of the mat. Press your top palm down into the ground for a little leverage. Tuck the tailbone, brace your core. Lift your legs up as high as you can for bottom to top. That bottom leg is gonna drop like an alligator jaw. Lower and lift, lower and lift. Lower and lift, lower and lift. Lower and lift, lower and lift, lower and lift. Lower and lift, tuck and brace. Lower, lift and hold. Now drop both legs down. Lift both of them up, hike your hip up to the shoulder. Lower both legs down and hike it up. Lower and hike it up. Lower, hike it up. Lower, hike it up and hold. And then rest, beautiful job. Lie down on your backs. Cross your right ankle over the left knee. Thread your arms through and pull for figure four. You're pulling your left leg into the chest with your right ankle on top of the left knee. Breathe here as you feel that length in your hip. No pinching sensations allowed, only a stretching sensation through your muscles, your fascia, your nerves. And then as you exhale, switch sides, crossing left ankle over the right knee, thread your arms through and pull. Pull the right leg into the chest as you stretch your left hip. Deep breath in. Full breath out. Cobbler stretch, butterfly stretch, recline. Draw the soles of your feet together. Reach down for your feet or ankles and pull them in. If that's not comfortable, you can rest your feet down onto the ground and open the knees wide. Tuck hands underneath of your knees. Connect your legs together for hamstring stretch. Raise both legs all the way up to the sky. Curl up, way up, eyes on belly. Walk your hands up the backs of your calves, maybe the ankles. Gently pull your legs in as you flex and point. Flex and point. Flex and point, separating your legs a little bit. Circle your feet around one way. And then reverse. 
and release, feet down onto the mat, windshield wiper legs, knees go over to the right, head turns to the left. And switching, knees go to the left, head turns to the right. Switch again, keep breathing. Bring everything back to the midline, hips, knees aligned. Place your thumbs on the base of your rib cage and the fingertips to the front of the pelvis. Thumbs to the rib cage, fingertips to the pelvis. Tuck the tailbone under so much so your lower back flattens and your fingertips come closer together. And then reverse as you arch your lower back creating space the web space in your fingers will open. And do that again, tuck imprint into posterior pelvic tilt, fingertips come closer, and then reverse anterior pelvic tilt as the web space opens. Tuck again, posterior pelvic tilt and hold it. Brace your core super tight, peel your bottom up off of the mat into a bridge. Hold this bridge position. Dig your heels into the mat as you press your knees away from your chest. Now begin to pulse your hips up and up and up and up, up and up and up and up, up and up and up and melt your spine down one vertebra at a time. Hug your knees into the chest, hands under the knees, stretch your hamstrings for two breaths. <sighs> Second set, bend your knees, feet flat, arms down at your sides. Curl the tailbone under. You can use your fingers for tactile feedback or you can rest your arms down at your sides. Curl the tailbone under, lift your bottom up into a bridge. Hold it here, maintain that scoop in the belly. Turn your palms so they're facing in towards your hips. Now begin to float those arms straight up to the sky overhead. D shrug your shoulders down the back. Exhale, float your arms right back down at your side. Float those arms up overhead as you're maintaining that bridge pose. Curl the tailbone under, fire up, transversus abdominis, power breath. Dig your heels into the mat towards the shoulder blades. Wake up those hamstrings, push your knees away from you. Last two arm floats. Inhale deeply, exhale audibly. One more. And melt your spine down, segment by segment, bone by bone. Hug your knees into the chest, hands under the knees. Stretch your legs up, way up to the sky. Deep breath in. And a full breath out. Feet down onto the mat. Bring your knees, feet close together for a single leg bridge. Press your palms down into the earth, curl the tailbone under, and lift your bottom up into a bridge. Hold it here, it can be a small, medium, or tall bridge. Raise your right leg straight up to the sky, point the toes, and then flex your foot lower down, hover above the mat. Point toes, kick straight up. Flex foot lower down, hover it above the mat. Point toes, kick straight up. Three more, just like that. Flex lower the leg down, not the hips. Kick straight back up, lower the leg down. Kick straight up, last one, lower the leg. Kick straight up, bend your knee, rest your foot, and switch sides. Left leg straight up to the sky. Flex foot lower down through molasses. Point kick up, flex lower down, point kick up. Hips stay lifted, point kick up, flex lower down, point kick up, last one, lower down, point kick up, bend your knee, rest your foot, and rest your back. Excellent job, hug your knees into the chest, double knees to chest, rock knees up, down, side to side. Deep breath in and a full breath out. Tuck your hands under the tailbone. Lift your knees above your chest tabletop. Heels together, toes apart, split your knees wide like a frog. And draw your heels in close towards your belly button. Pretend that you have a hundred dollar bill between those heels and then lift your head and shoulders off of the mat with your eyes on your belly button. Kick your legs straight out at a 45 degree, and kick straight out away from you. Pull your heels back in towards your belly button. Kick straight out. Your legs are kicking out at a high diagonal. Pull those heels back in towards your belly button. You've got eight more to go. Inhale, push through molasses. Exhale, pull through molasses. You are fully engaging your entire body. Heels stay connected the whole time. Don't drop that $100 bill. Let your knees spread open wide as they pull in. One more. And rest, you got it. Relax, release. You can do windshield wiper legs. 
double knees to chest. <clears throat> Corkscrew one, tuck your hands under the tailbone, raise your legs straight up to the sky, 90 degree angle at the hips. If your hammies are tight, bend your knees now. Inner thigh stake together. Pretend that you have duct tape around your ankles. Now begin to circle around one time clockwise, 12, 3, 6, 9, 12. Pause, reverse, counterclockwise, 12, 9, 6, 3, 12, and pause. Keep moving your legs around, keep them connected together, doing one clockwise, one counterclockwise circle. Keep the pelvis anchored to the mat with an imaginary seat belt. Press your lower back, middle back down into the earth. Option, lift your head and shoulders off of the mat. Eyes are on your belly button. This will kick in the rectus abdominis just a little bit more. One more in each direction. And rest, relax, release, deep breath in and a full breath out. Standing up on your mats, finding mountain pose. Feet are parallel. <clears throat> Shrug your shoulders up and roll them back. Curl the tailbone under slightly, engaging your core belly. Grow tall through the spine. Find your neutral curves from your head, neck, middle back, all the way down into the lower back. Spread the toes wide. Pretend that your feet are a tripod. So you've got your big toe, pinky toe, and the heel pressing down into the earth. Close your eyes. Inhale. Reach your arms straight up to the sky into an upstretched mountain. Exhale. Float the hands back down. And again, deep breath in through the nose as you reach up to the sky. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. Reach up. Exhale, draw the palms together to the front of the heart. You can flower your eyes open and then sit back into an imaginary chair. Hips back, way back. Knees are behind the toes. Five neutral spine, head to tailbone. You can do a little swimming of the pelvis by tucking and arching. Tucking, arching, finding your neutral spine. Engage your powerhouse, belly, pelvic floor, lower back. D, shrug your shoulders down the back away from the ears. Focus on one spot in front of you as you shift your body weight to the left foot and to the right foot. Left foot and the right foot. Left foot and hold it here as we do warrior prep. Tap the right foot straight back behind you and then return it back to starting position. Tap the foot back and return. You're keeping your entire body quiet as a mouse. Only that right leg is moving. Belly is in and up. Lengthen and elongate through the crown of your head. Last two. And switching, right foot down, left leg taps back. And four. Eight to ten times. Maintain total stillness from head to tailbone. Tailbone to your right toes. Last two. Upstretched mountain up to the sky. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. You can bend your knees generously as needed. Let your head hang. Shake it out. Loosen up those cobwebs. You can cradle your arms. And sway side to side. And then begin to roll up, segment by segment, bone by bone, one vertebra at a time. Connect your heels together with your toes apart in Pilates stance. We're going to do the ending here. Inhale, lift up on your tippy toes into a releve. Open the arms wide, exhale and rest. Do that again. Inhale, lift up tippy toes, open arms wide. Exhale, last one. Inhale, lift up, lean forward and take a step into your day. Namaste, beautiful job everybody.